Uh, welcome to the Landmark Hotel for the EPRA Annual Conference. I have here Martin Greenslade, uh, CFO for Land Securities. Uh, Martin, welcome. Thank you. Um, uh, what are the specific challenges facing Chief Financial Officers in the current economic environment? I think one key question that we face is how are we going to grow earnings um, with the current economic outlook? And then secondly uh, would be availability of finance. Uh, a number of us have um, banking facilities, those will mature in due course. Uh, so the question will be when do we go to the market, what is the availability of new finance um, versus pricing and what other alternative forms of financing are available. And you're just started as a new chairman of EPRA's reporting and accounting committee. Uh, what do you envisage as the priorities for that committee in the coming months and possibly years? Well, the first thing I'd say is that under Peter Van Rossum's chairmanship, uh, the committee has made great strides forward. I mean, it's been ably assisted by Gareth and Moe and the rest of the committee. Uh, the best practice reporting recommendations is an example of that. And what we need to do is build on that success. I think one key area is going to be European legislation, the increasing influence that that has on the real estate sector and um, how we respond to that. So how do we um, educate regulators in the impact that that legislation is going to have on the property sector and how important the property sector is to the economy. So that will be a priority for you as chairman of the committee? Yes, it will be coordinating our response uh, to that type of legislation such as the AIFM uh, and the associated OTC derivatives legislation. Those are important bits of legislation we need to make sure that our voice is uh, adequately heard. And what do you see as the relative strengths of UK REITs, uh, your own company, Land Securities for example, and the listed sector, uh, compared to the broader real estate sector in the context of the current difficult economic environment? Well I think in general the listed sector has primer properties and those properties are better able to withstand sort of economic headwinds. They're not immune from them but they probably um, are better able to um, cope with those conditions. I think in addition to that, um, uh, gearing levels in the listed sector tend to be slightly lower, and also we have a very strong and broad uh, supportive shareholder base. And what that means is when you combine those, it tends to suggest that when one goes to their banking market for finance, and finance will reduce from the peak level, um, that that, that I think the listed sector will get a greater share of the finance that's available. How far along is the development and implementation of global financial reporting standards? Well there's a real determination to achieve a global uh, reporting standard uh, framework and so I think great progress has been made but it's a slow process and a lot of parties involved and I think it will take time. And uh, what impact could that potentially have on the global REIT industry, do you think? Any convergence that allows companies to be compared across the globe must help investors in terms of determining um, which companies they wish to invest in. So I think it'll be positive. However, compromises will need to be made to achieve that convergence. And I think uh, we'll have to wait and see what the outcome of those compromises is. Um, if it's seen as negative versus, for example, IFRS, uh, I think what will happen is that companies will revert to adjusted measures uh, and cash flow will increasingly become important. I don't think that will have a major disincentive for people investing in, in the sector. Martin, thank you very much. Uh, for more industry interviews, please visit epra.com or read.com.